Hey guys, it's Frog with Frog and Bird Gamers checking out Homegrown Games Gravedigger, and for now I'm just going to be playing the demo because the full title isn't out yet, but when it is you can bet yourself that I'll be dishing out a full review because I do like this game a lot. But for the time being, I think I'm just going to stick to doing a simple let's play where I show off some of its finer features and talk to myself like an idiot about what I'm doing. Okay, so I've already uh, played the demo, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase one of my files so that I can show you the intro. And uh, there's three difficulties right now. Five lives, graves are shallow, three lives, standard depth, and then one life, and really deep graves and other things. Okay, so here we go. And that's why I'm afraid of badges. <laughs> I hate my bloody job. Me too. Yep. Got a bit of rent though. Amen, brother. Yep. <laughs> I like the guy stop, passed stop out it. in the back. Stop it. We should, we should, we should just, just bloody quit. Yeah. Stop it. Got a bit of rent though. Stop it. Let's, let's just, let's just start our own business. Like what we always wanted to, remember? We could, I mean, I could, you could, that is, I, you're pretty handy with a shovel, you know? <sighs> you're right, mate. I'm bloody great with a shovel. Oh, where any treasures buried, Tully? Yeah, I'd take that. You're, you're bloody great with a shovel. You know that, Fogus? And, um, um treasure? W well, I ain't got no treasure maps, but I got this for Christmas when I was nine. The idiot's guide to grave digging. I had a creepy uncle buy me a very similar book when I was younger. I don't read good, but my old man got it for me before he buggered off. So I'll never go anywhere without it. I can read a bit. Let me take a look. <laughs> mm. I like his voice. He reminds me of uh, Christian Bale as Batman. Where were the other drugs going? Where are the drugs? Oh, Batman. Okay, I'll keep watch. You see what you can dig up. And if you find anything good, I'll, I'll use my business wilds to sell it on. Okay, got it. <laughs> I like the uh, the character design in this game, it's very funny. <sighs> oh, no. Just watch sitting down here. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> Graves, a wise grave robber explores as much of the cemetery as possible before breaking soil. Take a closer look at the tombstones by pressing Q or backspace. Or is that enter? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Enter. Here lies Lester Moore. No less, no more. Very clever. I don't know why there was a gate key in there, but I'm just not going to question it anymore. Stone coffins are to underground burials, as horse-drawn carriages are to good old-fashioned walking. They did give away that this fool inside had wealth, and as such, they're usually the first to get exhumed by folks in your trade. It's also a lot quicker to access than a normal coffin since we don't So we... So let's, uh, let's see what this chumps got over here. Gold earrings and a pipe. Excellent. I'm pretty sure last time I played this level, he had a, an eyeball. So he be because we're installing my guards to give Night Watchmen a comforting place to stand guard. So you activate this, and then if uh, a ghosty follows you, then the lost soul. The desolate spirit knows not what it wants. Only that it exists. It's a cruel joke. And anybody unwary enough to enter its territory will feel its wrath. Okay, so if he chases me, 
And I go to that beacon. Yeah. He, uh, he pisses off. Which is good. And on hard mode, there are less of those around. In affectionate remembrance, Hal Tefferson. I think, um... The one fun part about making this game would probably be the tombstones themselves, like the an eyeball. There we go. Um, would be the things that you could write here. Like there's, there's so much room for like jokes, like old school Simpsons would have done. Thunderbird. I didn't find anything. I I bet I'll find nothing at this grave. This chunk. Yeah, when I die, just throw me in the trash. Just throw me in the trash. You'll come across switches. Excellent. And they will open doors. Low bearing walls. Crouch to avoid being seen by ghosties. I used to know somebody that looked like that. You feature. Oops. So I really like this game, and I really do. Not found, um, grave robbing lore contains many references to a top secret cemetery where grave robbers themselves are buried with all of their worldly goods. To ensure that the only, the worthiest of grave robbers can gain admittance, it is secured with multiple keys, which in turn are buried in among. To some of those most dangerous graveyards in the land. If you search thoroughly, though, you may find maps to help you locate these treasures. Over the years, some maps have been torn and separated and must be reassembled. That's pretty cool. See, I, I really like the story behind this game. It's not just, like, two drunk chumps trying to, like, you know, make a buck or something. It's, uh, there's a little bit more to it. I mean, th that's what it is, but this whole, uh, like, secret ordinance of the grave robbers... I think that's pretty cool. Like, I just found the lost key, and I don't know. Like, you wouldn't find something like that in a AAA title. Um, it, it's it's a very like dark undertone to the game, even though like it's it's being played off as a comedy. Like, nothing about this game is spooky, but it but it is a lot of fun. And um, I mean, I I really like the art because as an indie developer like myself, like. It's, it's not easy to do things by yourself, especially this is like a two-person team. I don't know. I really like it. So, this is probably where I'm going to cut the video at this point, just so you can get a taste of like how the game is, and uh, see for yourself if you want to check it out in the future, or even just play the demo now. Um, I would definitely recommend this game, because it's very fun, and uh, the, uh, the ghosts, they become very different. Like, some of them are more enraged, some of them um, have different qualities and traits to them that make them much harder to pass. Like this one back here, he's like a soldier and he marches around, and this one follows you looking for love or something. I don't know, I haven't gotten to her yet, but um, it's pretty cool. I would definitely check this game out if I were you. So uh, that's my Let's Play of The Gravedigger, level 1, and I'm out. Thanks for watching guys, take a minute to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and check us out in the following weeks for Frog's review of Cellar Door Games Rogue Legacy.